welcome to the Goddess Temple Palace. I am Queen Mother Goddess Opulence. Ra, enter. And for those of you who are new, enter means nature in the Kemetic Egyptian language. I know, I hear some of you saying, why are you saying Egypt? Because everybody doesn't know Kemet <laughs> as a name of ancient Egypt. And I wanted to show you those beautiful, beautiful flowers that come out at this time of year. And on the trees. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is, but the flowers are lovely. They don't have a scent. But anyway, how are you today? I am enjoying this beautiful weather that we have been blessed to, to receive. In the midst of the land that the Goddess Temple Palace is on, this aspect of the Goddess Temple Palace, because the palace is not limited to one location. Hmm. I have come as an inspirer today. I have learned <laughs> that the new trend for talking about other people and promoting businesses and other people is called being an inspirer. And I chuckle to myself because I've been an inspirer in that way for a long time. It pleases me to speak of other artisans and craftspeople's creations. And today I am going to speak to you about some master jewelers, grandmaster jewelers. And the first one is Obi. I have him in my ear, <laughs> whispering sweet messages of his skill and mastery to me and you. He's an award-winning jewelry artisan. Every time he does a show almost, he wins prize money. That you can win prize money, don't have to sell anything, for your mastery is something I want you all to be aware of as you progress in your mastery of your crafts, your arts. And upon my neck is Baba G, who has created some of the jewelry Perhaps all of the jewelry that Angela Bassett wore in Wakanda. Yes, indeed. Now, on my wrist are my own creations. And on my fingers are my own creations. And my work are in the museum, Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts gift shop. I have been an inspirer, first to myself, and then as a teacher of various things. I have taught dance and will again, jewelry, <laughs> philosophy, Hmm, performing arts, to name a few. And to rhyme with a few brings me to Erica Badu. I remember I was with a master jeweler uh, and there were many others around, all males at that particular setting. We were at Essence, and there goes a beautiful butterfly. And Ms. Badu came through and she stopped and she looked here and she looked there, but ultimately she came to me 
and honored me with a purchase. And then an invitation to myself and my companion to her show that evening. That was such a blessing for me because she honored her sister. And other people at different times she had bought from or did buy from later, but I was her chosen one at that time. Thank you, Ms. Badu, goddess incarnate. The butterfly reminded me that this flew by that Earlier today, I tried to get this on video, but it didn't happen. But I witnessed the birds. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to say. I witnessed the bees and the butterfly, both at this azalea tree bush. And the bees were, were um, doing what they do with the flowers and the butterfly did <laughs> what it does with the flowers and it was beautiful the harmony and the color blend of each of them that that nature <laughs> has created and then i remember because the butterfly was black and white with specks of red that last year one had come close to me and allowed me to videotape it. So somewhere amongst my pictures, that butterfly relative <laughs> exists. And I said, oh, welcome back. Welcome back again. Your lineage or your ancestry continues on the land here as the tree trees that I shared with you and the trees there are a multitude of trees around me I am blessed I am so blessed and may you realize too I'm, I'm going to share something that nature enter has taught me that this let me see what you can see this um, yes yeah, you can see this this piece here if I take it off, which I just did, hmm, bless it. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is either. I got a lot of <laughs> things on this land that I'm still learning about. And put this in soil and water it. The chances are that it's going to take root. That's very much like um, <laughs> your thought your desires another butterfly a yellow one and yellow and black one <laughs> coming nearby they're coming to see what I'm talking about soon come I will be offering classes that you can get online I also have um, I'm preparing I started this last year again because years and years and years and years ago decades ago I used to sell fragrances but they were fragrances that I bought from other people they came out of um, Africa different parts of Africa but now I have taken from my own gardens and started making fragrances and that's another giveaway that's gonna happen when I reach um, 300 yes when I reach 300 subscribers it'll be the same system but as your thoughts as your worries as your heart's desires as your fears as your hopes if you water them you put them in the soul of your essence they will grow remember that Okay, I'm out of here. I hope that this is as good as it felt for me to do it for you. Namaste, beloved. Namaste. Namaste.